Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Free Formula. My name's Freedom, thank you for joining me. So, do you like my glasses? Yeah, me neither. Well, this video is about surveillance. And these are surveillance glasses. Check it out. Can you see inside there? Little space for a mini SD card. Little button for record or camera. So essentially, these glasses have got a little camera right in the center there. So you could be being filmed without even realizing it. And if you're married to a narcissist or have been involved with a narcissist, well, God knows you probably have been under surveillance. All right, lovely. So the point of today's episode is to talk about all the different ways that the narcissist watch you, um, how they keep an eye on you. Let's get into it. There's a few different ways. I've got some notes. Um, there's a few different ways that they do it because, you know, we live in an age where we've got um, so much technological advances being made. I'd like to say, you know, sunglasses with a hidden camera you know um and relatively cheap as well that's the other thing all right darlings so let's go through it so if you've ever wondered how he knows what you're doing where you are or why you just keep running into him how come he keeps just popping up wherever you are if you're wondering about these things you're probably under surveillance so these are the different ways that they keep um, an eye on you, we'll put it that way. So we have the physical realm. So this is when they physically stalk you. They physically watch you, spy on you, um, peep through curtains, sit across the road watching you go in and out of your house. You know, they're physically keeping an eye on you. They might um, drive, you know, follow you in their car, you know, follow where you're going, what you're doing. Um... You know, it's a it's a um, time and effort. Um, it sorry, it takes them a lot of time and effort is what I'm trying to say to do this. So this is kind of the rarest forms of stalking. Um, so if you're in this situation, what I would suggest is a couple of things. One, be really observant. Okay, don't be wandering around through life like la 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 la. la. You know, you have an enemy. That enemy is are dangerous you need to be conscious of your surroundings you need to pay attention to what's going on around you so change up your routine as humans we are creatures of habit we do the same stuff every single day don't believe me try and get out of bed tomorrow and dress yourself from the other side of the body so you know we all have a certain way that we actually get dressed we do the same thing every single day try eating using the a different hand your non-dominant hand um try showering using your non-dominant hand try go to the toilet using your non-dominant hand all of these things um will show you just how we are creatures of habit we do the same things over and over and narcissists will take advantage of that so they're going to know where you're going to be so for example if you leave your house in the morning you know you might be looking around you know looking for cars or whatever and then you think oh no no one's following me i'm fine right but you fail to remember that your first point of call is to go and get a cup of coffee at the same coffee shop that you go every single morning okay and there you go that's where he's waiting you know, so change up your routine, don't be so predictable, keep an eye, be observant, okay? All right, number two, the second way that the narcissists keep an eye on us is um, through the online realm. So they could be following you um, or even have friended you on Facebook under a different and false name and you don't even realise, you know, you think you've got them blocked because their profile with their name is blocked. So what I would suggest is there's a number of things with this. Now, you can either um, create a second profile of your own. This is what I would suggest. I would suggest if you really want to have social media for your friends, right? if you want people who says, I want it because I want to tell my friends what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. Right. So if you're one of those people, what I would suggest then is that you um, create a second profile. 
that only your friends, so you invite them, you don't put it under your name, obviously don't put it under your name, um, have it under a different name, invite only, uh, private profile, have all your settings on private, um, and keep your your original one that he knows about, keep that up and running, occasionally post some crap, um, so he thinks that he's watching you, okay, but use your second one and keep it private and keep your circle of people close, so you actually know who's in your inner circle. If, like me, you have social media um, as a way of kind of communicating with a lot of different people, um, promoting work, um, if you use it, you know, for those kind of things, you not you may not want to um, get rid of your profile. So in that instance, I would be really conscious of what you're posting. I wouldn't post anything that you don't want him to know. So every single time you post something, run that question through your mind is it going to affect me if he knows this okay so things like if you have a new lover if you have a new partner do not post facebook pictures of this person do not tell them about anything where they can affect you if they can screw things up for you they will so don't give them the opportunity okay keep your cards close to your chest and that's the beauty of having the false um, profile because you can, as I said, you can put all kinds of things, lead them down the garden path. You know, they're so busy watching, leave them off that way. Take a leaf out of the narcissist book. This is the art of distraction, NARC 101. Well, we can do the same thing too. Lead them down the garden path away from your life and what's really going on. All right, another thing, when you get friends requests, when you get people following you, trust your instinct. If you have any red flag, any feeling of, hmm, this doesn't seem right, I don't know about this person's profile, just block it. You don't need to friend anyone if you don't know who they are. There are eight million, I mean, sorry, eight billion people in this world, you know, one or two, it's no big deal. Just block them, block them, block them, block them. Get comfortable with blocking people. It's really important. All right. The third way that they um, have us um, under surveillance is through electronic surveillance. So with the advances in technology, as I said, with the glasses, all those kind of things, there are so many ways that you can have someone under surveillance through their phone, through their um, apps on their phone and on their computer you can have spyware um, you can have keywords I think it's keyword stroke where literally every single t um, key you type on your computer is recorded all of this stuff um, can be used to spy on you so everything that you let into your house that has a camera and a microphone can be used by external sources so people outside of your home to look into your home so there's a couple of little tricks with your phone, with your computer. When you're not using it, have it face down, have it shut, have the camera um, taped over. So literally just put a little, um, like, um, what are they called? Um, um, little band-aid, you know, the little tiny ones you get for fingers, little round ones. One of those or a sticker, something like that. Just put it over the camera right? You might think it looks a little bit kooky. You might feel a little bit kooky doing it, but the reality is that you're being smart. If you don't believe me, if you're thinking I'm sounding kooky and paranoid, um, go and watch a documentary about Edward Snowden, okay? And watch just how easy it is for people to um, spy using our laptops that we leave sitting open through that camera, they can record us, they can um, see us, hear us, and record us. So pay attention to that stuff because NARC's getting smarter, because the technology is getting easier, it's getting cheaper, um, the information is out there, you know. And believe me, NARC's Google this kind of stuff, you know, how to spy on, you know, someone, how to create um, a home surveillance kit. I mean, really, this is the stuff they know about. This is... This is the kind of thing that they love, you know, keeping one um, step ahead of everyone, knowing everyone's business, you know, 
being able to feel in control and in power. They absolutely love this stuff. So you need to be aware that they love it. They've got the um, tools available to them. It's easy and it's cheap. So don't think, oh no, they won't bother because they just might. And especially, this is the other thing also, just quickly, is if you thinking to yourself, you know, um, um, you know, he's keeping an eye on me. Like if you suspect that he's keeping an eye on you, that's one thing. But the other angle is that narcissists aren't stupid as in, when they when they do have you under surveillance, they're never going to come out and confront you. So, for example, when you're in the relationship with them, in the situation with them, you know, f- you might be under surveillance for months, for years, without them ever breathing a word of it because they're not like you or an I. You know, so, for example, if you or an I suspected our partner was doing something and we had them under surveillance and we caught them doing something, we would, you know, confront them because we care. A narcissist wouldn't confront you. You could be doing all kinds of things behind their back, thinking that you're getting away with it, right? But they know about it, but they're just not letting on, okay? Because they haven't found new supply to replace you yet. This is what narcs are about. Remember, they need fuel. They aren't like you. They're not in love. It's all a game to them. So they're not going to show you their cards. They're not going to say, well, I've been watching you and this is what I've found. Okay? They are really, really sneaky when it comes to this kind of thing. They'll keep those cards close to their chest and keep watching you for months, months, years. You know, and you might not even realize. Here's another way that they do it. They know your password. They log into all your accounts. Um, Often they have old phones that, you know, former phones of yours. You know, when you bought your new phone, you forgot about the old phone, but it was still logged into everything. You know, just needs to be charged up and boom, they're into everything. So what you need to do here is change all your passwords on everything, right? Take this stuff seriously. Change your passwords because they'll know the passwords that you'll use. If they've been with you for any period of time, they know your passwords and they know the kind of passwords you will use, right? So change that shit up, okay? Um, Do a house sweep if you suspect that there may actually be cameras through your house because this is the other thing, just quickly. With technology, look, look, little phone, right? Camera camera um you know all it needs to do is sitting like this over a bookshelf and you know it can be recording all day um you know there's things that they can put them you know this is a a waterproof case um the stuff that i have found when i did a sweep of my house was amazing amazing um you know tiny little cameras like I said, that just stick out, like, you know, video cameras that sit in bookcases and or in a video box or in a drawer and there's a little hole. Like, you just wouldn't believe um, the things. Like, one of the things I remember finding was um, a drone. So it looked like a child's um, toy helicopter, you know, like a remote control helicopter, which it was, but it actually had a camera and a mini SD card spot and so all he had to do was turn the camera on and he had it sitting up in the lounge room so every time he wanted to he could just turn on and just record so this is the kind of thing i mean you know they're highly paranoid they're highly insecure and they want to know what is going on and they don't want to ask you heaven forbid they would rather chew off their left foot than ask you what is going on Okay, they, they don't want that vulnerability. They don't want you to be in that position of power. They don't want you to know that they suspect something is going on, right? So this is why they do what they do, to be one step ahead and to be in control. All right, so change all your passwords. Um, 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 yeah, do a house sweep. So literally go through the house. Excuse me, I've got some got a hair tickling in my nose. Um, go through the house, literally, as if you were looking for... Um, you know, something microscopic, but your life depended on it. Spring clean like there's no tomorrow. Go through everything. Flick through books, everything. Okay, go through your entire house. 
It's also a good way of kind of reclaiming your space, putting your own energy back into the house and kind of cleaning out their energy. Um, so when you're doing your spring clean, get everything of theirs, get it out of the house, but go through and just have a look. And if there's anything suspicious, anything that you don't know um, where it's come from, you know, stuffed toys is a really good one. Stuffed toys that, that they've given the kids is often a really good tool because they the kids sit them up, you know, in a prominent place like in the lounge room or in their bedroom or whatever, you know, and they remote control access to the camera that way. Lots of different ways. It's creepy as, like it's really creepy, um, but, you know, it is what it is. So you need to do what you need to do. And if you need to get an expert help, just do it. You know, absolutely, 100%, do what you need to do. I don't have all the answers. You're going to have to research some of this stuff yourself. Um, you know, the how-tos, because A, I don't have the time, and B, I don't have the knowledge of exactly what your particular situation is. But research it and follow through. And as I said, cover your cameras at all times. Um, take your computer to a computer specialist and get them to check for uh, any spyware, anything that may be unusual. Uh, because this is the other thing, there is a lot of uh, apps on the phones and um, on the computers that they look like one thing, but they are another. You know, they're, so they're hidden, um, hidden apps. And only the person that puts them on knows that they're there. So look, tell whoever the computer specialist is, you know, tell them that, that you want to know, that you're looking for anything that might be used to um, surveil you. Um, because some of these apps, all they do is just record all activity on the phone and send it up uh, to, the, to the cloud, essentially, to send up via the cloud to a portal and then the other person on the other end accesses it through the same thing, you know, going through the cloud, up to the cloud, through the portal. Um, so speak to the specialist if you're in any doubt because this stuff is serious, you know. If these people are this kind of, um, you know, maladapted and unwell, you know, that can be dangerous. They can be really dangerous. Um, all right. The final ways that the uh, narcs keep an eye on us is through their flying monkeys. Through, and not just fly, their flying monkeys, look through, you know, a hundred sets of eyes and ears. So quite literally, whenever you're out in public, just remember that someone you know and that they know, you know, that you might run into them, that they might see you, that they might, you know, so if you run into someone and you have a conversation, just remember that everything you're telling that person may go back to the narcissist. So be aware. So if you're just running into someone on the street, right, they're not a best friend of yours because otherwise, you know, you wouldn't just be running into them on the street. They'd be coming around for a cup of teas and talking and whatever. So you're not good friends with them. You've just run into them. This old habit that a lot of us have of telling all of our stuff to people just because they say, oh, you know, how's life? How's things? No, bad habit. Get out of that habit. Okay, find something else to talk about. Get them to talk about them. Okay, because everything that you tell that person, I can almost guarantee you the next time the narcissist runs into them, they'll say, have you seen freedom? Or have you seen blah, blah, blah? And that person will be blah, 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 blah. Okay, a thousand eyes and ears. Unfortunately, including your own children. With the kids, it's really, really tricky and hard. Um, when they're little, you know, that they will, the narcissist will pump them for information. As they get older, the only things that I think you really can do um, in this particular situation is, you know, you can talk about stuff, um, for example, things that are adults business you can say to them not just about this but about a lot of different things you can say no it's okay you don't need to know about that that's adult business okay and it's a good thing to reinforce that to children so that they realize that some of the stuff that is talked about they don't have to listen to it they don't have to know about it. they don't have to think about it right and so it kind of protects them emotionally because they start to realize they are a kid, this is adult business. And the other thing you can maybe uh, install in them is things like, you know, we don't talk about people who aren't here. And there'll be a thousand and one opportunities 
for you in life to reinforce reinforce uh, both of those kind of messages. You know, and you could come up with other ones as well, but anything that helps um, them when they're going to be in that situation, because they will be in that situation. The narcissist will absolutely 100% pump the child for information. So if they have access to the child or if you have shared custody or whatever your situation is, just know that whatever the child sees and hears, the narcissist will see and hear also. So once again, if you have um, a boyfriend, maybe keep him on the side, keep it quiet. You know, maybe don't say, oh, mummy's going out, you know, to see Bob or whatever. You know, just say, um, you know... Mummy's going out to dinner with some friends from work. Something like that. You know, keep it so that if they do repeat it, you know, your privacy is not going to be encroached because the narcissist, as I said, will pump them. Oh, where does mummy go? Does mummy leave you at home at night by yourself? How, who's your babysitter? How often do you see your babysitter? Do you like your babysitter? Where does mummy go when you're at the babysitter's? You know, this is the kind of thing they do. It sounds really subtle. It's not subtle. It's uh, info um, collecting. All right, darlings, I think that that is it um, for that topic. But just be aware that just because you're not creepy and you could never imagine doing this uh, doesn't mean that the narcissist isn't doing it. Because believe me, they are 100%, no doubt about it. And the reason that they're doing it is because you got away, they don't like that. Or if you didn't escape them um, and you were discarded, right, now they're just keeping an eye on you because, you know, you're starting to heal and you're starting to look better and you're starting to get your energy back and feel better about yourself. And, you know, they're just keeping an eye on you. Because remember, they either want to recycle us or they want to punish us. So there's, you know, there's always an ulterior motive for why they're doing what they do. But believe me, they are doing it. All right, lovelies. Thank you for watching. And um, as I always say, if you like the video, please remember to like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, please share the videos on other uh, social media platforms um, to help me grow the channel. That'll be awesome. All right, guys. Bye.